I'm still working on my flat earth debunking video for Lily Spice, but I've run into a couple of people who are making false claims about this wonderful sequence of shots from Deep Space Climate Observatory showing the moon transiting the earth. John Sims has stated that the moon should show some rotation. Since he doesn't see any, he concludes that the pictures are fake. He's not the only person who makes this claim. I calculated how much rotation should be visible, and it's very small. John insists that there is absolutely none. He said he did a Photoshop comparison of the images, and that it shows no rotation whatsoever. I've asked him to upload his Photoshop comparison as a GIF animation or video, but he seems reluctant to do that for some reason. He keeps making the same argument though, so I've done it myself. Here I've aligned three of the shots. The first of the series, which shows the whole moon, then one in the middle, and the last which shows the whole moon. Let's run them in sequence. They are clearly not identical. Rotation is visible. Just using the first and last of those three pictures, we can see the maximum rotation for that period of time. The elapsed real time is three hours. This rotation is due to two factors, but since this is just a quickie video, I won't get into those details. I've made no changes to the size or aspect ratio of the pictures. I anticipate the complaint that I may not have perfectly aligned the images. If there is any misalignment, it's not enough to cause this movement of the moon's surface features. There is a way to tell that it isn't due to imprecise alignment. Features near the center of the moon's surface should appear to move farther than those seen closer to the edges. And this is what we see. If misalignment was the reason for the shifting of those surface features, they would all move by the same amount. They don't. This is real, and it is, in my humble opinion, very cool stuff. Somebody else claimed that this dark sliver around the eastern limb of the moon couldn't possibly be the shadow of the moon on the Earth because it should look a lot smaller and be much more blurred. Well, yeah, that would be true if it was the shadow of the moon on the Earth, but it's not. This dark edge is the night side of the moon. The satellite isn't directly on a line between the sun, moon, and Earth here. It's a little bit to the right of that line, so we're seeing a small bit of the unlit side of the moon. There was no eclipse on that date. 